Without the minerals in our homes, roads, mobile phones and computers, modern day life as we know it would be impossible. Minerals are in many of the everyday things around us, from buildings, electronics and cars, to toothpaste, washing powder and cleaning products. A typical house is constructed from a range of materials. Bricks are made from clay and mortar contains sand. These minerals have to be dug out of quarries. They are land one. A large amount of sand and gravel is also taken from the sea. This is marine one. Sand and gravel are used mostly in aggregates for building and maintaining the homes, schools, businesses and infrastructure essential for Hampshire's continued prosperity. But how often do we stop to think about where minerals come from or how they're supplied and transported? Minerals include rocks and precious stones, as well as a huge range of natural materials such as sand, gravel, oil, gas and clay. They are dug out of the ground. Different minerals are only found in certain places and there are very few sites suitable for extraction because of planning restrictions, existing development or unsuitable roads. Much of Hampshire is chalk, for which there is limited demand. The main minerals in the county are sand and gravel in the south and southwest and deposits of oil, gas and clay. As these materials are expensive to transport, they need to be close to where they'll be used. This means that demand is mainly in the south and northeast of the county where most people live. Crushed rock is imported by rail, which is better for the environment and also keeps roads clear for other traffic. Minerals are recovered for future use at aggregate recycling facilities. Hampshire has a good track record for recycling these materials, which are used to mend roads and footpaths. Using recycled materials means that we have to dig up less sand and gravel from around the county. Once a quarry is no longer needed, it is restored to its natural state or improved. Many former sites are now places where people can enjoy nature, walking and other recreational activities. In partnership with other planning authorities in Hampshire, we're responsible for making sure there's an adequate supply of minerals. We also have to safeguard land containing mineral deposits to protect it from development and make sure there's road, rail and wharf facilities for importing and transporting materials. The demand for sand and gravel in Hampshire changes from year to year. We need to meet this demand by planning for a balanced supply that includes recycled materials as well as sand and gravel from the sea and the land. Our emphasis on recycling and reuse reduces the need for new materials by using recycled aggregates where possible. We don't have control over material dredged from the sea, so we still need to find more sand and gravel from the land. That's why we're continuing to work hard to balance our requirements for sand and gravel with the need to protect Hampshire's landscape and communities. <laughs>